Now let's watch our younger players do the same drill. So again, we have a player up on the box that we want to be in her athletic position where she can see her hands. And then we'll have a player on the ground that'll have to jump and be able to do the same thing. So we're looking for the hands to be fanned out, pressing over the net. Good. Okay, don't jump into the net. So we wanna make sure that our hips are parallel to the net. So we're square to the net. We don't wanna jump. On the box, it prevents them from jumping. On the ground, we wanna still stay in control of our bodies. Okay, she, she blocked that with her forearms. We really want to reach our hands to the ball. Okay, you gotta fan those hands out. Fan them out, they're a little small. Good. The bigger we can make our hands, the more area we can cover. Gotta get those hands up, it's not a hot potato. Hands up and press. See how it went down and through? That's why I want you to fan your hands, okay? Because it won't go through like that. All right, you were jumping late. When she's contacting, okay, press over. You're on the box, you can press over. Good, very nice. I'd still like you to fan those hands out a little bit more. Okay, that was with your forearms. So the more you press over, a lot of blockers will think the higher they go, the better. Okay, we want them to go, if they can jump that high and press, we want them to go over the net. And you get some lucky bounces like that, and it still counts as a block. Okay, I like that the hands are fanned out better. That's good. A little late again. When she's contacting, you gotta be jumping. Nice, much better. Okay, let's work on the shrug. Shrug the shoulders. So I see a lot of uh, space, air space between your ears and your shoulders. I'm gonna close that off, okay? 